purevad roiskunud veel. Metsade seeni on üksikuid veel. Teist sorti seeni en tunneb mail. Kõigil on kõhe ja küll. Palgapäev saabu ja raha ma saan. Raha eest leiba ja viina ma saan. Miljoneid maksab üks aatomise. Kõisel pool kolgata tee. Kas meie maas saab kord tuha planeet või leidub pääsemiste? Kuhu rahu sai, kuhu vaikus jäi, kuhu rahu sai, kuhu vaikus jäi. Siin ilmas keegi pole kuri, siin ilmas keegi pole halli. Meil vahel keerdub kerib kuri ja vahel lihtsalt pole sõnu. Me kunas ei tea, mida teeks ja kahed susse mõni põnu. Siin ilmas keegi pole ruma ja keegi midagi ei tea. Ei keegi eksimatu jumal, kui kahtle tüüa olla hea. Kui veel suuda, me ilmas kii ei ole vaba. Ja keegi ei tea, mille eest me istume kõik oma taja. Siin ilmas keegi pole ilus ja koledamat ma ei tea. Kui julmus kindel omas ilus, me ilma lees ei ole taba. Ei keegi teise tee pealees, me seisame kõik kahel jalal, iga üks ise enda eest. Kuni suuda! Midagi ei pea, kas pide punkt või pigem koma. Siin ilmas keegi meid ei vaja ja me ei vaja kedagi, sest sõidame kõik kui niisama. Meil ilmas kiisim pole paha ja kui ka vahel pole hea, kus iganees, mis tahes aja, sest ilmast paremat ei tea. Ega soobi
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to everybody who has joined us over screens. We are very happy to welcome you here in the beautiful Old City Harbour Cruise Terminal to announce the European Green Capital 2023 Tallinn. We are Kaspar and Sandra, and we are from Tallinn City Theatre. We are actors and the moderators of the night. And it's a festive day, so we're wearing theater costumes. We cannot get around environmental issues this century, so I welcome the honor and desire to focus on our capital's nature, people, and behavior this year even more, and to launch activities that take care of our daily life and home planet. This gala evening was opened by music pieces from the 60s and 70s. Already then, people worried about nature and fast pace of life. People already were asking, where is the peace and quiet and thought that the sun is crying? But what do we think now, 50 years onwards? No peace, no quiet has returned. The pace of life is accelerating. Planet Earth is warming up. We see strange weather conditions almost every day. A, we see extinction. People are urbanizing. From 2008, more people live in cities than in the countries. Estonians uh, started urbanizing in the 60s and 70s. Estonians love rural romanticism but prefer to live in the city. Nature is a natural part of the city space, but what or who is a city? It's the people, it's us. We as citizens are part of nature, and it means we must take responsibility for our living environment and the future to make sure that in 50 years' time, children are able to draw the same kinds of nature pictures as we saw tonight, to make sure that nature does not disappear from around them. Tallinn has chosen the slogan of the green capital as wisely changing. This is the prism we'll be looking at the year through. On the one hand, this is done by the city as an institution which has uh, made it its target to become a city with a more human-friendly city environment, a wilder city environment, and acknowledges that change is needed quickly and now. On the other hand, it's our contribution and responsibility as citizens. As Director Anna Hinz has said, nature is not something that is outside. It's not somewhere I need to go. Nature is always around us. Nature is not outside people. We are nature. Nature is not a hotel where we shop for experience. It's a garden you take care of and never take more than you need. Based on these words, we should think about where some of our behavioral patterns started. Is it the heritage of our ancestors? We're about to find out because we will soon watch a silent film from 100 years ago, restored for tonight, called Terrible Disease, that sheds light on a very strange habit that uh, is customary to city dwellers nowadays. Terrible Disease, Tallinn 1922. Beautiful weather in Tallinn this summer, and people are very happy about it. weather has nurtured nature. Your garden is wonderful, dear neighbors. Oh, yours is even prettier. interrupt the program with extraordinary news. Across Estonia, there's a horrible, terrible disease spreading. It's airborne and makes people mow like crazy. 
People's hands turn into skies and their faces go wild. I can't control it, help me. listeners i interrupt the show i have to go and mow my lawn the lower the better take care
Surdan o ansamble pulu ja aitäh selle silmi avava film keskkonna teemat tekitavad endiselt vahel inimestes segadus nii et igaks juhuks olgu mainitud et see film ei olnud pärit 100 aastast ja on ikkagi sketchilik teema käsitus meid tabanud niitmis haigusest elu rikkuse hoidmine on rohelise pealinna üks alustalades ning täpselt nii nagu linn on otsustanud niitmisele piduritamata Lasta loodusel ka linnas rohkem pohada. Nii võiksime ka meie elanikene natukene selle koleda haigusega võidelda. Kui ka niidu krahutus kuuris käed sügelema ajab, võiksime jätta oma aedadesse ja linna ruumi alasid, kus muru võiks kasvada põlvedeni või kõrgemalegi. See väike tegemata jätmine pakub elukoidu ümber toimuse. Mida muud meie ise ja meie linn tegevad? Mihail Külvart, the mayor of Tallinn, will tell us. Honourable Commissioner, fellow citizens of Tallinn and friends of Tallinn, I'm honoured and extremely pleased to accept uh, the title of Green Capital here in Tallinn and to announce the Green Capital of Tallinn 2023 Open. Green Capital of Europe was actually, the initiative itself was born here in Tallinn in 2006. The then mayor of Tallinn, Juri Ratas, initiated it and now, 17 years later, it has come back home. And I want to thank each and every one who on this very long journey never lost their faith in Green Tallinn. The Green Capital is an acknowledgement to all of us, but especially to those who came before us, those who lived in the same rhythm with the nature, who had common sense, and this is something that we have inherited in our DNA and something that is also inevitably in our culture. Today, green capital encourages us to build an innovative and more uh, biodiverse um, city. Climatologist Andres Starand, former Prime Minister of Estonia, has said that one of the preconditions for Estonian culture has been our nature-loving mindset. Estonia might not be able to make the entire world a better place, but we can act and behave in a better way ourselves. This is something that we can do. Everything in the world is connected. Our actions have an impact on other people and also the environment. Any changes in the environment also have an impact on all of us. The way we decide to move around, whether we separate waste at home, this is something that determines what kind of air we breathe, what is the seawater like where our children go to swim in summertime. Tallinn has called this year of green capital um, wildly changing. And this is not just a phrase. This is something that is meant to encourage us to start changing. Change itself is not the objective. We are not using all these buzzwords, climate neutrality, sustainable development and green transition. It's not only because it's very popular to talk about these things or that it's internationally uh, 
very popular. It can't be only such an elite topic of discussion because it determines the quality of life for us as well as the future generations. During the year of green capital, we have planned more than 60 local but also international events. And these are driven by smart, inclusive, learning and sustainable city. When during the 20th century, progress was contradicted by the environment. But now, on the 21st century, it's the, vice, uh, it's the other way around. We aim to preserve the nature. And this is why green innovation and new technologies have a very important role to play also in our program tonight. So testing Tallinn initiative offers an opportunity to all innovative communities and entrepreneurs to come to Tallinn and to use Tallinn as a testing platform for new in innovative green ideas. In autumn, we have a week for green, green tech, and this brings together experts in this field from all across the globe. One of our key projects is the Pollinator Highway. It's a park. It goes through uh, several districts of Tallinn. It's 14 kilometers long, and it encourages people to come together and act together. Becoming a green capital of Europe is not an objective itself. It's an accelerator for growth here in Tallinn, growth and development. But we cannot expect others to change unless we are ready to change wildly. The development is already happening also in our city organization. In our daily work, we try to follow the principle of sustainable um, governance. And these are principles that we are ready and willing to share uh, with others, uh, the experiences that we've gained, we are ready to share with others, and we are planning to set up a competence center uh, in Tallinn focusing on uh, green development. Grenoble, our predecessor, is a great role model for us. And Valencia, to whom we pass this title, uh, is a city that we also want to inspire and encourage. Green capitals of Europe will always be the pioneers and role models for others, but also for one another, so that we all could build a better city environment for our citizens. Tallinn is not complete. We still have to be willing and ready to continue to carry on to be sustainable here and in this city. I wish that we carry out this work together this year as well as during the years that follow. This is how one of the kindergartens in um, in Tallinn uh, says, they have a slogan that says, a small seed grows a wonderful uh, blossoming flower. Together we can do it. Thank you. Thank you very much to Mihail Gullvart. A cornerstone of green thinking is definitely everything to do with rubbish and waste. And here too, all of us, the city, the residents and all other people need to look into the mirror and think how can we change our habits, sorting waste. This is something that the city and the state have made big promises on with different dates. But what does it all start with, Sandra, with habits? Let's be honest, we give very little thought to this topic. When we were organizing tonight's event, we also need had to think about habits and smart opportunities to reduce the footprint of the opening gala as much as possible. So Kasper and I are wearing 
costumes from different theater productions. And uh, also the stage decorations come from different Estonian theaters. But how was Sorting Ways discovered? Let's watch a silent film from a century ago that we were able to dig up from the depths of the archive. Rubbish bin. Meil on 
aika paljon positiivista. Me olemme saavuttaneet, me olemme oikein teille politiikkaa, tekevät tervet poliittisessa maassa, kun olemme entä edes näkemään. Nyt on meidän 35 astetta. Ja se, missä on kahden asteen perästä, tai jäyttää, on sitten murehtia ja isti tekevät tulevat kohdalla. Thank you very much. Ja president Lennart Meri. And to President Lennart Meri. Kõlanud lugu oli nagu kõik varasemalt kõlad, spetsiaalselt tänaseks was uude kuude seadud vana hea. Sest me oleme oma loodust armastanud ja tema pärast muleks on juba ammu. Aga teeme seda siis jätkuvalt, kuidas siis muud voodi armastada kui mitte pidevalt. Tallinna pikaaegsed plaanidega. Ja sihtidega saavad kõik huvilised tutvuda interneti vahelikult. Otsides üles nii linna kliimakava kui ka Tallinn 2035 arengustrategia, mis olid ka peamistest põhjusteks, miks peeti Tallinna rohelise pealinna tiitli vääriliseks. Internet on keskkonna teemadega tutvumiseks nagu kuld ja kassikuulised kõtis. Tuleb osata seda kasutada, aga meie linn riid ja planeet väärivad teemasest elemist. Teises küllest, kui oleme nüüd, ühes võrgustikus loodusega ei saa olla meie eri soomiks pihti nevijala, mida kiirem seda parem, sest 2023. aastal võib juba väga julgelt küsida, kas rohkem on ikka parem. Kas tõesti peitub meie tõde majanduskasvus või on aeg tasaarenud? Nende ja paljude teiste teemad üle on meil nüüd aega rahulat järelemast. Tere Tallinn, good evening ladies and gentlemen. And of course tonight we are here to celebrate our new green capital of Europe and to hand the button from Grenoble to Tallinn. It's a button that has been passed all around the Union. We have now 15 worthy winners from Lisbon to Lahti and from Nantes in France to Ljubljana in the East. And when you win, you really beat some tough competition. It's a title reserved for the best, for cities that are at the forefront of change. You join a very select brand, and it's a great pleasure to see other previous winners also here tonight. So my special congratulations to Grenoble, for a very successful year. You are in the vanguard of change, and it's clear you will remain front runners for some time to come. Now the title comes to Tallinn, and in one sense, it's actually coming home. It was here back in 2006 that Green Capital idea 
was first invented with Tallinn and the Association of Estonian Cities, both playing a key role. Now it's your turn to play the staring role. Looking at your program for the year, I'm very happy to see the special focus on biodiversity, resilience, and governance. These three areas that are essential for the green transition and areas where we all need inspiration. And that inspiration, I'm sure Tallinn can provide. Here in Estonia, a day to remember is approaching. On February 24, it is Independence Day. I'm sure we all understand the special resonance that day has this year. Europe is standing by Ukraine in all possible ways for its independence and to maintain the peace and prosperity it has achieved in our continent. And I'm certain that united we will succeed. Mayor Kolwart, Tallinn, your city, is green, smart, and exemplary. But it's also much more than that. In the last year, you have shown your true colors. You have been generous and open in a time of tremendous stress. From the bottom of my heart, I thank your city and your country for the generosity you have shown and your tremendous support to the citizens of Ukraine in response to the Russian war aggression. You are a city with a great green future, and tonight it's tremendous pleasure to be part of that. Let's cherish the Europe that we have created, united and diverse, beautiful and at the forefront of a transition that is just and green for all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Avigini Sinkevichus. There is a small but beautiful tradition when the title of the green capital is handed over from one city to another. And therefore, in order to hand over a small symbolic object, I now have the honor to ask to the stage the 2022 European Green Capital title holder, Grenoble Mayor Eric Piol. Good evening, everyone, dear Commissioner, uh, Mihail, dear Mayor, dear Mayor of uh, Lati, dear Mayor of uh, Valencia uh, as well, and, and dear all. We have uh, all in mind, uh, obviously, the, the war in Ukraine, but the war as well everywhere in, in the world. But while having this in mind and uh, being sure that we need to uh, focus on territory solidarity, we know as well that uh, we need to fight with uh, the humanity challenge around climate change and biodiversity uh, conservation. And uh, uh, we are very, very happy to be here uh, in Tallinn. Congratulations, uh, Tallinn. That will be a great year for you, and uh, thank you for hosting us uh, today. I have three things that I would like to share with you. The first one is that we had in 2022 a great year. Uh, more than 900 delegations from all over the world uh, came to Grenoble uh, this year. It was for us a source of inspiration that was really great. We had more than 700 events uh, with, uh, open to, to people and we had 1,400 of uh, stakeholders, uh, companies, uh, cultural uh, companies, uh, sport uh, association, institution, uh, economic uh, world, uh, all being behind one single objective. And for us, for uh, all the, the thousands of people that participate to this uh, on our three focus, science, culture, and citizen participation, it was a great time for us, and we gathered behind one single objective. Second thing that uh, I would like to share with you is that uh, it, the, the, the way didn't start in 2022. It started really a long time ago. And for instance, we reduce uh, or building uh, energy consumption by 40% in the last 10 years and 70% 70, 70 of uh, gas emission. We multiply by three the number of bikes uh, in the city and, and bike usage by citizen like myself, I don't have car uh, anymore. 
we uh, have now more than 50% of vegetarian meal in public school uh, in Grenoble. We reduce pollution by 30 to 50% in the last 10 years uh, to protect health and particularly health for the poorest uh, people that live nearby uh, polluted areas. And we collect waste, food waste, to produce biogas uh, with it uh, very soon. And we reached in 2022 another big milestone that started a long time ago, uh, six years ago. We produce now the equivalent of uh, the consumption, electricity consumption for all inhabitants in Grenoble by renewable electricity with our own company. All this is great. All this is made by keeping in mind citizen participation and making sure that we reduce inequality as uh, told by the IPCC. But the third thing that I would like to share with you is all this, uh, all this uh, that has been done, we are miles away from where we would like to be. And particularly in the Alps, in the mountain where we come from, uh, climate change goes twice faster as everywhere else. It's more than two degrees already there. And so we see mountain changing. We see environment uh, direct change. And we need to be uh, twice as bold uh, as uh, somewhere else to, to, be, to face this huge challenge. So we need to be inspired again. And what we would like is to be inspired by Tallinn. I'm sure that we will. We, will. Uh, we really want this for future year. We know that we are miles away from where we would like to be in coming years, miles away from where we should be based on the humanity goals set up in Paris in the COP21. So we would like uh, to hand over the Green Book uh, to you and continue to be inspired by green capitals. And to do so, I would like to call uh, Maud Tavel and Pierre Véry. Maud was uh, um, the president and is still the president of the, the Green Capital Agency uh, for Grenoble. And Pierre Véry is uh, vice president for Metropole. And here is the Green Book. Mihail, if you want to join us, uh, I would like to hand over this and uh, yeah be inspired by your year and continue your way for more humanity and uh, fighting against inequality to the best for climate change and biodiversity. Thank you. So now, floor is yours. This book uh, is handover from green capital to green capital. It has been all renovated by your uh, library, and uh, it's really a pleasure to, uh, to give this to you and to all Tallinn inhabitants. Uh, nothing to do, but I have to say some words. Uh, merci beaucoup, Grenoble, and bonne chance, Tallinn. this wonderful tradition. Tallinn has the objective for the year, uh, for the next year, to make the city organization more green, sustainable, but also inclusive. It means working together with citizens and organizations, as many very passionate leaders of the green world have said that if we take it with irony, we cannot solve anything, and these problems are not to be solved alone. This is why, during the year of Green Capital, we have to change our habits together. Collaboration is a topic of the next silent movie, and I think it's very educational also now, 100 years later.
uncatchable trampler who comes and pesters the citizens of our city. I've had an idea. Listen, what if... You'll never get rid of me. As long as I live, the city will never be clean. Oh, even if you got me, there's always someone who litters and pollutes the city. But it won't be me anymore. What a shame.
Aitäh, selle vägeva energia eest Jarmo. Nii nagu kõlab As the rush shower message is very resounding also without any words, sometimes you have to put into words what your heart feels. And it's especially nice when it's done by not only politicians and experts, but those who are our future, which means children and young people. Therefore, I'm very happy to ask to join us here on the stage, a 16-year-old uh, pupil from from Tallinn English College, Lisa Lata Tõiste, who won the speech competition Biodiverse City. Please, the floor is yours. Honourable fellow citizens, I'm a regular 16-year-old and I live in a city. The city is called Tallinn. We have a saying that home is um, the best, even if it's very nice to be elsewhere sometimes. That this is why I would like to tell you about city environment. Living here on a daily basis, I feel that the city could be more diverse. We need more areas for pedestrians, parks, safe places to meet uh, for young people like me. These places should be outdoors and they could be free of charge so that you could hang out with friends without paying for it. What kind of a city is it where a young people uh, and uh, an elderly wants to live. It's a city where you can do whatever you like. You don't have to depend on cars in order to get from one place to another. It has to be equal to all citizens and ages. And it also means that we should have spaces where to take time off. In a good city, everyone can drink clean tap water, separate waste, and study in well-ventilated rooms. We should have restaurants that appreciate local uh, food and they would use as little dis uh, they shouldn't use disposable um, dishes. We also have to make sure that we wouldn't have floods. It means that we need less tarmac because it stops the water from rainwater from running away from the streets, but it also heats the city up during summer, which is not pleasant for people, animals, nor birds. People prefer to drive cars because they say that they save time, but actually what it brings is noise, heat and pollution, and this damages people as well as the environment as such. In order to stop climate change, we need to change the mindset of everybody so that we would prefer walking and riding a bike in, in a city, and that we should mourn the low... Uh, Lawn only perhaps twice a year. The huge digital screens should be shut down for night time in order to save energy and to make uh, the city a better place. We should use more solar panels and we shouldn't use glass as a building material. Raising awareness in terms of environment and nature is the key. What could we do? For example, in science lessons in school, we could teach more uh, about uh, the consequential relationships between things. And we should be able to teach young people how our action influences the climate change. We should encourage uh, light traffic, not cars, and perhaps we should introduce a tax for cars, because this could be an incentive for people to walk and ride a bike more often. Our mental and physical health is also influenced by our living environment, and um, being more green makes uh, our city a better place. Let's make our city a biodiverse city. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lisa Lotta, and thank you very much to all of you who came here tonight. The year has begun. Tallinn is the European Green Capital 2023, and we are looking into the future, hopefully, wildly. 
with readiness and the will to change things and act. People are meant to live in a biodiverse environment. We are on our way to hearing birds chirping in city streets and to see a meadow of blooms and um, we want to see busy bees on, in hives on top of high rises and we want to cycle to our friend's house, smell tomatoes from a community garden or have the waves at the beach clear our thoughts. Let's not stop dreaming. Let's admit that uh, every dream needs you to contribute actively all the time, incessantly, so that we could say, as we heard in the opening song of tonight, the words written by Andres Steilbeck. The sun rises, the wakeful song of the morning begins. The darkness hastily escapes the sun. Can't believe my eyes. Nature is duly fresh once again. Beautiful mornings to you and peaceful evenings to finish your days. Stay cool, green, take care of each other and nature. Exactly. Enjoy the evening. Goodbye. And now it is time to start with the party. And before this sea of chairs becomes a dance floor, we'd like to ask everybody to the dining section at the back of the hall. In about half